Vincent Keimer. Fifth round, um, you scored your first win in that super tournament against the Georg Meyer. Congratulations. Can you tell me something about the game? It looked like you had a very quickly good advantage. How did you see that? I think the opening went very well. I mean, I had the preparation. He made some okay, very active moves. I mean, very critical, but I mean, it was maybe a bit too slow and also he weakened him to self and then okay I got very fast this end game with a pawn up but this was even not the best I could achieve I had a better option maybe to win immediately which but one, which one was it? I think queen a5 was b4 or a4 this was very strong just not to take a pawn just yeah great position domination and okay then I had this end game I'm sure it is a draw and it should be also an easy draw and yes then it was the bishop end game I'm also sure that this is a draw, and okay, then the pawn endgame, the exchange the bishops too. And I, f I thought this was completely winning, but at least as, as it showed up, it isn't winning, because there is, I mean, I, I think c4 instead of king t takes g2, and then it's a draw. But also, like he played, I thought first it's a draw, because I mean, there's only the chance I pl like I played, and yeah, as I found this, I was very happy, because I mean, it's all force, and then yes, I won the game. When, when did you really know exactly where you're confident that you were winning the game today? Yes, after Queen E1, I would say, because I calculated everything until B7 and then I was sure I will win this. And, uh, but you took your time. Is that the lesson you learned from your trainer? Then even in a position like this, take your time, calculate and then move and not move too fast, perhaps. No, I mean, I thought this position is a draw, so I have to, I mean, this feels like it has to be won, but anyway, I have to find the way, and then, okay, this takes time. I mean, it was a difficult way, and this isn't easy. Uh, you had not a very easy start this week. I mean, you played against a world champion, and then you played against a former world champion, and then you played against number two of the world. Difficult week. Were you satisfied with the quality of your games? Yeah, the quality, I would say, yeah, for my, for me, it was okay. I mean, the results weren't that good, but I mean, my player, I was satisf satisfied. It was also, yeah, great to understand that even if they are so strong and they are in general better chess players, that I have a chance. And yes, especially your white games were pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's pretty critical because I mean, they always want to win, so they are also not playing best moves like they could in general, and. This is giving me chances. A lot has changed since last year, since we talked for the first time. You grew, I think, 30 centimeters or 20, whatever. What else has changed for you personally in the, in the, in, in the chess world? And uh, what has changed for you? And yeah, I mean, a lot has changed. I'm playing yeah, now much more stronger tournaments. I also played Vike Ansee and, but okay, that's also just since 2019. Okay. Not much has changed in the other case because of course you always have to train and you always have to do the same things. I mean, it's not, of course, it's great if you achieve something like this, but it's going further like if it, you wouldn't have achieved this, yes. And tomorrow we're going to Baden-Baden together. What are you going to do tomorrow on a free day? More chess, preparing or relaxing? I don't know, <laughs> I really have to say I haven't planned anything yet. Good. Wish you all the best for the rest of the tournament and see you in Baden-Baden. Thank you.